Alrighty, where to? I imagine the at me. This is oh my god, why am I here? Why am I not yelling? the at me? Oh, oh, I guess we're on here. The exhibition. Uh, apparently. The E word. Oh my god. Um, Maya. Uh, oh, M Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. You know, thinking about it, her voice and Ron's voice are very similar. Yeah, I can see that. I can't help it. It's fine. What? Can't do. Why are you both in the same thing? Don't worry about it. Please, c calm down. What's wrong? <laughs> it never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to ask that you stay five feet away from me. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> Maya, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, no, it's okay. Don't. I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I could make you another urn. Now hold on, just just wait, okay? Brief, calm down and talk to us. Forgive me, forgive me. Adrian, you were so happy yesterday. <laughs> um, so when did you get the calling card from Masked Star Damask? And why are the speakers playing this very cheery song when you're so depressed? Yeah, it is very cheery. Let's see, exactly 10 days ago, I was going to show it to the police, but the detective stopped me. Damn him. Mm. Um, so you asked Detective Atme to help with security? Yes. In fact, it was about 20 days ago that I hired him. He seemed to know much more about Master to Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes. I had a premonition that something bad might happen. You see, it runs in my family. We can kind of predict the future. Maybe? I don't know. I've learned to trust my hunches. Oh, okay. F fair enough. So that's why there are security cameras even in the basement warehouse? No. That's normal, Phoenix. Yeah, that, that should be normal. Yes. Lodi Taylor is very serious about their security measures. Yes, they should be. They... There's their way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Okay. <sighs> well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. Stop looking so depressed. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Hey. Oh, that's rude. Why do you say that? The urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Quiet phone. Don't go off. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero? I polished it until, until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But that urn contains the soul of Mystic Army. Yeah, I think that's long gone by now. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me, but... Five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items for Corain. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually Mask Star Mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. How would it was you? one of those people Ron Delight. Like, how would you know? Hmm, knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out what they ate for breakfast that morning. Oh, oh, in that way. Okay, yeah. Um, am I supposed to do anything else here? Do percent run? Maybe she can help with this? Oh. Um, Miss Andrews? I know, I know, it's all my fault. But what's done is done. I'll make it up by making a new urn for you. I'm just wasting my time. Okay, that's the... She doesn't know shit. Okay, she's still far gone. Let's try to send, um... Nope, oh, gonna be the same. I want to send a Ron, Ronnie. See what she thinks about that. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, okay, she's nothing. just too far gone. She's just too far gone. I guess yeah. we, uh, we don't have anything else here then. To the basement again, I guess. Uh, huh. Nothing, Nothing has changed. Got it. We might have to go to the uh, at me detection detective agency. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> October twelfth. At me detective now. agency. Hello. Well, well. How lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Er. Uh, um. We're actually kind of. Shh. Silence. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. My eyeball is huge. Way too huge. Oh, what is? Zafari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. Okay, I his voice is not as bad as old bag, but the exact way I'm doing it is hurting my throat. <laughs> <laughs> a lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? We have already had this discussion. Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! So my estimation was correct. Zafari! How truly elegant. Now then! What can I do for you? You already know you us. You can punch yourself in the face. Ugh. You mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely. 
This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. <laughs> I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been off the mass start in mass since his very first theft. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel. The Tear of Emonon! That is a very That is quite the jewel. That is very pretty. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall! The crime scene itself! So that's why you were hired as security for the Trice exhibits? I'm pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes! I borrowed some equipment from Lord Lee Taylor and set the perfect trap! You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself too. Oh, so how did Mass start in Mass manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Damask's modus operandi? Wait, I was Phoenix there, not... <laughs> Phoenix got a bit showy about hanging around um, this Zavari dude. Um, Mr. Adney, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Star Damask. Sacred urn? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. Uh, okay. It has everything to do with this case. Yeah. But wasn't that what Mask saw the mask stole this time? I'm a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Maybe bait. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the in individual penis you throw to pigeons? Oh my god. I don't throw things to pigeons. I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. I've never liked his attitude. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. What an idiot. Yeah. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. After all, we are all but seekers, wandering alone in the dark. Well, I was wondering how Mass Star Mass managed to steal the urn. I mean, is this strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Mask Star Mask. Oh, here we go. Oh, goody. B what the? It's a psych lock. It's a psych lock? How do you not know what a psych lock is, Maya? That's a very good question. Unless she's acting in surprise. Hey, Nick, uh, what is this psych lock thing? <laughs> Never mind, she's just clueless. Why are you clueless? Seriously, how does Pearl know what this is, but you don't? Uh, because Maya was probably eating hamburgers during that lesson. <sighs> Do we really want her as the master of the crane channeling technique? I feel like Pearl's the better choice, personally. Probably. I'm siding with Morgan on this one. We just don't have to get, you know, kill or arrest Maya for it. Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Maya, you're the one who gave me this Magatama last year, yep. and I never gave it back. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prized for a family heirloom, but... Curly was the one that actually imbued it with spiritual powers, right? How don't you know how to use it? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. This is the woman that's going to take over the Karange Handling School someday. <sighs> <laughs> so how do you do it? How do you break the Cyclock thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool! I can't wait to see it in action! Come on, try it out! Oh boy, I think the future master still needs to learn how to be patient. I guess we're using All it. Alright, I guess. I present to you, not this Magatama. I now present to you this Magatama. Master Dimas M.O. Detective at me, you were set standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Master Dimas commit the crime. Well now, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true, but I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. I know, I'll show him some proof. Detective at me, I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. The camera data. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely! I hope you don't mind, but we've already got our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? But, but my monocle didn't catch anyone in his flash! It must be some kind of computer malfunction! <laughs> It must be. Hmm. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is why are you here trying to hide it? He's hiding it. There must be some reason. 
Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Do I? Okay. Let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mastodon on a mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time was because you were... Was he unconscious? Because he was... The sword! Because he was struck over the head by the, by the sword. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is, pal. Show me your evidence. Because it's bent. Uh, he was struck over the head with it. Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha ha ha! Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. <gasps> That's... Before the theft, this sword was in the hands of the statue of Ami Fei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Uh, er... There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, detective, how about it? I I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Title drop. <laughs> You're banned. I banned thee. Nice. I can't deny that there may be s a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you. Clobber. What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No. The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts are sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with that gruesome item here. Ouch! Mr. Atme should have should have had that, should have his head, poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Oh. I'm still gonna say it's a shitty sword because it bends. Well, it's a it's a not an actual sword. Yeah, I know. Not meant to hurt people. Yeah, I know. Except if you clobber them, apparently. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That Atme is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Yeah, because he was knocked out. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not even be Mass Study Mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Mask Star to Mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold! This is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Yeah, okay. That's him. And as you can see, his nose isn't 10 feet long. Yeah, basically. Interesting. Yeah, what's with all the paint? Ami was already moved out of the way. Yeah. Why was Ami already moved? That's a good question. Why is... How is, does the box then get painted later? Hmm. Mask, Daddy Mask! I'll have to look more in depth on this. The thief can be none other than the arch criminal Mask Star the Mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crime. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? Yeah, what's, what's the reason? the reason? So, what did you mean by he had a good, very good reason? Exactly that! Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. How do you know all this? But how would you know about that? <laughs> Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. Wow. The most brilliant mind since... Well, ever! Look at me! <sighs> well, I guess we'd better go take a look. Just in case. That means that private letter we saw we could not open. It's the letter he's talking yeah. about. Hiya, Desiree. I'm gonna go through your mail real quick. Yeah, the green envelope. Hey, Nick! Remember what Detective Atme said? Exactly that! I just said this five seconds ago! I'm not redoing this whole thing! Seriously. <laughs> we literally just went here. Why yeah. do we need a repeat of this? Yep. <laughs> a green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. 50000 This is a blackmail letter? Sure looks like a major clue, all right. How the hell? Does the detective know Fountain about that? Pants. I have no idea. Ding dong. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. You know about this blackmail letter, Desiree? Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. Not sure who this is. When I see a dams in distress, I just can't help, uh, can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. Oh, I no. know that oh, voice. Oh, no. Oh, is this who I think it is? Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Uh, uh, you're, you're... Okay. Oh my god, it's butts! 
Oh no, oh, it's Buds. Larry has returned. Oh no, who voiced Larry? I don't remember. Oh. I don't even know what his voice would possibly be. Why did I make him sound so refined? Oh, I messed up so badly. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. My voice is hurting enough from Luke. Okay. Nick, it's you and Maya too. What a fluke. Ah, Larry, long time no see. What? You know each other? <laughs> Nicky boy? Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Uh, something? If you mean what I think... I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Way to go, dude. Can I slap him? <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to clue also, in the Also, I just noticed he's a security guard. Larry Butts, time backstory! Ever since grade school, he's been not exactly a close friend, but yeah... We know each other. Hey man, that was nice. I was your first, very first client. We've got quite the storied history, he and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> hey, come on now. You're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty lady, this pretty little thing here. So you two old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go up ahead and catch an old times. So I'm going to go check on my bike. This is such a weird universe. Yeah. Ah, I have a guess. I have two guess. Well, you two do whatever the hell you want. I'm gonna go elsewhere. Don't rob me. <laughs> nice girl, that Dancy. So now you, how you been, Nick? <sighs> Too busy if you really want to know. I did not expect bots. Not gonna go lie. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I've heard from you. Which means it's been about two years since the first game. Huh. Which means Maya would have been 17 at that point. Yeah. And what's with those clothes? You look all weird. You look like a functioning member of society, dude. Hey man, that's a call for. This is my uniform from my part-time job. <laughs> but I can't believe it's been two years. This ain't time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh -oh. What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know, Benifer, I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. Who is Benifer? I have no idea. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Benifer? Caddy Tom? I've never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude. Caddy Tom chews Hollywood over me, can you believe it? Yes, actually. Yeah. Well, actually, anyway, it sounds like you had quite the adventure. Women, they're so, so, uh, oh, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. Why? Which means yeah. Larry is 26 as well. Oh, he's 25. Nah, he is much so deep. Phoenix was probably one of the older members of his class, his year, and Larry was probably one of the younger oh, ones. Oh, it's just, you know, because their uh, birthday is different time of time of the year, you know? Well, yes, what I'm saying is, at least here in America, there's certain deadlines for getting into a certain year in schools. Ah. When I was growing up, I think I was part of the older ones. Like, mine was right on the cusp and I was the oldest within my years, I think, typically. I think how we do it here is it's based on the summer. Like, you know, with summer vacation for the schools, that kind of stuff. Screw that. But yeah, Phoenix is probably part of the older group in his year, while Larry would have been part of the younger. They're still the same year. Yeah. It's just that explains the age difference. Yeah. Do not introduce Larry to Adrian. Do not do that. That is a great idea, actually. No. So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night. Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Found by Larry at his part-time security job his company building, Night of the Crime. Oh my god, is he a security guard? At the oh my god. Hang on, let me see that for a minute. Ugh, I knew it. Desiree's picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he'd be the Dixon's wife, huh? Okay, look, Larry, if you were married to her, you'd dig her too. Yeah, obviously. Uh, hey, Nick, it's not what you, at all what you're thinking. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You have not changed a bit. Uh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks love a guy in uniform, you know. Oh my god. A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. So what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? Try to see if I got an alibi? Yes. You are you, Larry Butts, are a mask star a mask. <laughs> uh, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Okay, two problems. Number one, the two crimes were committed at the same time by a mask on a mask. Problem number two, 
Ron was in uniform, wrapped like at his at a security company with his own wallet. Yeah. Why? What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. Sure there is. After all, he works there. Yeah, yeah, and as she oh. said, Ronnie works at a security guard company. That, that is true. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Uh, why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. Mm, I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Interesting. Do we have anything else we can... Yes. Adrian! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh who's this? Come on, man! Don't hold out on me! <laughs> You're to blame for this. Oh, no. I, look, I will be honest. Adrian's good looking. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> Personality could definitely use some work. She blames herself too easily for things, but as said on the internet, I can fix her. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. It's on an easy to know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey now, I, I thought we were pals. I got a major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. Okay, Larry, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? I can literally see it in the picture, dude. Uh, if they have an orange colored memo pad, I really lose my cool. Oh my god. Okay, that's a little stalkerish, dude. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're making that up. You can't really know Adrian. Can he? <laughs> that would be fucking scary. <laughs> I'm definitely scared. I don't think there's much else we can really do with Larry, is there? I don't know. But now we have both the letter and um, we, we got the letter and something else that Larry just gave us. What? Why he's not here? Huh. I guess we present the green envelope to him? Really? Really. No, I'll present this to him. Nope. I guess we have to go back to Butts. Yeah, I guess we have to go to the Butts. I hate Butts. Yeah, that's kind of creepy that he actually knew her memo. Yeah, him. like, that is very creepy. Anything useful to present to you? No. Yeah, I think we have to go to Larry Butts again. I'm doing everything I can to avoid that, though. There we go. Okay, so what do we do? Hey, Larry, what about this? What? If you got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? Also, give me $50,000. I don't know anything about uh, Alexis, and that's the truth. Who's the Alexis? Alexis. Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000. I don't have that kind of money. Oh my god. No, no. You don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Phew. Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. Wait. I'm the idiot? <laughs> Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security right in the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's why I've got a part-time job at KB Security. W what? Wait, did it, do we know it said that on that? What updates? No. Sounds like I really should find out some more about this KB Security company. Oh, uh, why, why don't we present about KB Security company to him? Like he's, uh, oh yeah, I'll just talk to him. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here then? I'm on break. Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what? You know what mice do when the cat's away? You're an idiot. Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road anyway. Hmm. Well, this apartment building's pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Randall Light was at the KB Security when the robbery occurred, then. Whoa! And he couldn't have been stolen the sacred urn. Is that all we needed uh -huh. for needed here? Uh -huh. I got a feeling hey, we, Adrian. I got a feeling we have to stay with the with um butts, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but what else would I possibly show him? His own card? That one? But he gave this to us. Yeah, but trying to ask him about it still, I don't know. So you're sure about this key card? Yep. That's the key card we use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need to you need to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Oh, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. I'm a lawyer. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. Oh my god. You, dude, you don't have a chance with Desi to begin with, so just lose your job for me. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. I guess there was more for it. Oh, that must be me to do. Hey, Nick, your phone. Uh, hello? I is this the right residence? Uh, no, you have actually reached the headquarters of Mask Star to Mask. Ah, Pearls, 
Where are you? I, I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try and find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me that phone, Nick. Pally, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Svari when he's excited? Pearl, you're not saying it right. Svari! Svari? Look at me. Ace detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. All right. Uh, I'm a little scared. I would too be. I would be too, Pearl. All right. Let's go, Maya. Uh, wait a second, Nick. What? The phone call just now sounded like a real cute. She's nine. Shoo. Oh my god. Then I want to give you a special friends. She's Maya's younger cousin. Oh Back off. Oh my god, Larry. What the fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? What the fuck, okay. Larry? Okay. In Larry's defense, this game was made in Japan originally. And if anime logic is anything to go by, a cute voice like Pearl's would be could be anywhere from the ages of five to 30. Yeah, so, like it's uh, still like from a non-Japanese perspective, that's like, oh, oh. OK, from a non-Japanese perspective, if you heard a high pitched voice, you can't just predict age. Yeah, you don't know what Pearl actually sounds like. I know, I know. It's just because we have hindsight and know it's like, oh, yes, we know it's Pearl. So there's issues, but Larry doesn't. Probably. I would hope not. If he does, he's dead. And I'm going <laughs> to have to try to find a way to hide his body. I was 12. Mr. Nick, Mr. Gnaya, Pearly. I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Oh my god, Pearl, Pearl, just calm down. So, is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there was the single soul in sight. Say, Nick, uh, does it look like something's changed since we were here? Last year, there's a bag on the table. I don't know. I thought you mention it. That is a pretty big bag. Hmm. I think that fire's changed color slightly. Hmm, yeah, so it might actually have uh, gotten an extra hint of Ooh, and the wood. chemistry set. He did some extra chemistry over there. Probably. And he redid the portrait of himself ever so slightly. Hmm. I don't notice anything else. But it, Nothing super obvious. Yeah, yeah, there's something like, like, say, in the center that's being put attention to with, like, a white background to it, you know? And it's a completely different art style of everything else in here. Yeah, like, what could it possibly be? <laughs> It's this purple jug. No, yeah, that could, that could actually be it. This bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. Well, duh, it has a different art style to everything else in the room. Yep. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Sure we can. Don't be such a fuddy daddy. This is an important investigation. <sighs> That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a second. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. <laughs> He's here. Maya, go distract him quickly. What are you doing, sir lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I I'm really sorry. Uh, Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial. Zavari, shall we say the figuratively. So William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime. Wow, he just did all the poses. <laughs> yes, I did. I am Luke at me. Wow, Nick, sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Out the bag. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. Yeah, that's good fruit. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, sir lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Oh, not you too. You see, you are fighting another member of the Von Kama family. Because that is the only family you can fight. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I don't think we're fighting any Von Kamas for once. <laughs> That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. You be quiet, Pearl. Tomorrow will be a day to remember, because I, look at me, will take the stand. He's gonna break, isn't he? And then, Zavari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. What? <laughs> Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. 
It is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. It is Miss Van Kammer's whip. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you are truly, if you are truly who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. Oh, got it. I'm honestly not sure. Godot. Hold on, which are we going with? Godot. Because Godot is how you say the game design program. <laughs> and Godot also got sounds... Got it. <laughs> Godot also sounds more exotic. All right, well, call him Godot. His name is Godot. He doubles as a game design program. G Godot? Yep. You have taken a step down the path of foolishness to try to defend a career criminal who's deserving nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the mask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Yeah, I don't think that's ever happening then. Uh, who's this good guy? Um, who is this good person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. What? Wait, what about the Von Kamas? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, if his pro they cannot be found in this country nowadays, Von Kamas Sr. is dead, his daughter is out of the country, and Edgeworth is not officially a Von Kama. That's true. <laughs> Godot, a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance of sim to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godot? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth. No, actually it's not. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But Ace Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. As such, he is not in this country and my argument is valid. That's technically true. Huh? <laughs> In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. Really? But only after he stepped out of the country. Fascinating. <laughs> no, I can see him doing that. Just walk out of the country. Oh, yeah. By the way, Godot, you're the best prosecutor now. Congrats. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> oh, if you meet my sister, you're no longer the best prosecutor in the country. Well, assuming she's in the country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke at me of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. I said, like, is this Godot really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Really? Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> Sir Lawyer, the stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial, and I am not looking forward to voicing Luke at me. My voice hurts with because of him. <laughs> no, seriously, my throat like hurts. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> to be continued.